You know what? For the way up, yeah, I'm gonna have to remove my hat. Really? Okay, you're getting hot? Yeah, I'm getting hot, but I'm also getting serious. Okay, <laughs> all right, when the hat comes off, <laughs> the Holland starts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of our Goldilocks series where we figure out what's the right size truck for you. And here we have the Jeep Gladiator, the Baby Bear. Next, of course, we have the Silverado Trail Boss, the Mama Bear. And finally, we've got the big old F-250, the Papa Bear. And Andre, what are we towing with these three bears? Well, we're towing the same 7,000 pound trailer we towed in part one of this series, but today we're doing the Ike Gauntlet, the world's toughest towing test here in the Colorado Rocky Mountains. So right now we're gonna find out if a mid-size, full-size, or a heavy-duty truck is right for the amount of weight that you're towing. So let's get to it, Andre. Let's do it. This, of course, is the brand new Jeep Gladiator. It is a mid-sized truck, or the smallest class of truck you can get here in America. It tows a maximum of 7,000 pounds, so with our trailer, it is maxed out. It hauls a maximum of 1,200 pounds of payload, which is okay, but it is a truck that is best suited for, let's say, people who live in the city or people who don't need a lot of towing and hauling capability. It is really cool, and it is sort of a lifestyle truck, but most importantly, it's an off-roader. As always on the Ike Gauntlet, we're using the Cimarron horse trailer you see behind me from our friends at TransWest. Use the link below to check them out. And let me show you what's in the back. This is basically a 20 foot long trailer, and we loaded it with rubber mats, and water barrels and a couple of other miscellaneous items for a total weight of 7,000 pounds. This trailer size and weight represents what you might be towing as well with your boat, your camper, or maybe a car hauler. Hey Andre, uh, we're missing something like two bars that help distribute weight. What's up with that? Dude, I want to break the rules on purpose. Okay. Just for this test. Yep because we're not comparing against other trucks. Yep. We're doing this episode all together. And let's not use weight distribution hitch on this run because we're not required. It's a recommendation. Yep. And of course we recommend that. You should do that over 5,000 pounds. But let's try how they handle all right. it. All right, let's be rebels, dude. Yep. Let's do all the rules and throw them out the window. So let's also try cruise control on the way up okay? because you guys keep asking about it. So no weight distribution and hitch, right? We figure out how it does without it. And we try cruise control on the way up. That's exciting. Mind blown. Miles an hour, dude. Uh, this is, uh, let's just say it, not the right tool for the right job. This is no, the right, it's maxed out. It's maxed out. This is a uh, gonna be the super hike, basically. Yeah, this is uh, stretched on payload and towing. Yeah, both. Yeah, exactly. Actually. Uh, and you can tell there's a tremendous amount of squat. Uh, it's uh, wagging the uh, the trailer is kind of trying to move me around. Yeah, yeah, and there is no tow haul mode, unfortunately. So no. We can't help with that. Jeep engineers say that the truck should um, understand that we're towing yeah. and should adjust. Here goes 61, first brake application. One brake application. So the Gladiator doesn't come with a brake controller integrated. Yeah, which sucks. It, it's a Mopar. FCA. It's a Mopar accessory, right? Yeah. But we don't have that accessory. All right, to be fair to FCA, a lot of the mid-sized trucks don't come with a Tacoma braking. does yeah, not. I know, I know. But Colorado still, is the only one that does. Yeah, so Chevy gets it right. Yes. I think if you have a truck, not having a brake controller is like having peanut butter without jelly. It's like having <laughs> fish without chips. <laughs> it's like, Bakers without mash. Yeah, it's like having Abbott without Costello. <laughs> okay, so what our solution is, is a remote trailer mounted brake controller. We purchased it, so it's our own unit we've been using. And basically, this 
you plug in the trailer here and you plug in this into the truck and it does the control for you. I'm trying to hold on because it's kind of wiggling a little. Yeah, this is one of the reasons we wanted to not use uh, distribution. Exactly, right. we wanted to see what it feels like uh, to have a truck that probably should have it and not have it. And um, it's, you know, it's not dangerous, but you certainly feel like you have a lot more control. Do you agree? Yeah, and you have to have experience, I would yeah, say. Yeah. If you're not experienced it's towing. Two, we're about to hit two again. Yeah. This is the same engine. Yeah. What's the horsepower, the Pentastar? The 285 horse yeah, yeah. and 260 pound feet of torque. Two brake applications. And my ears are popping, Andre. Yes. <laughs> we are going fast. So, Andre, I've got two important questions for you. First is why are we using the same weight? Well, because we get this question every day, it seems. I have this trailer, which truck should I buy? Should it be a mid-size, maybe a full-size half-ton, heavy-duty? Yeah, so the rationale here is the same weight and see how each of the truck handles it. And the second question I have is, how much do these bad boys cost? <laughs> Another mind-boggling thing. Each one of these trucks is about 55,000 bucks. Same price. Yeah, that's crazy. The Gladiator, which is a small truck, costs the same as an F-250, which is, you know, a big truck. has is that the suspension is set up more for off-roading than it is for towing so you got you know huge yeah. amounts of squat you have mirrors that aren't exactly grand oh I have to brake again okay that's eight I think we're pretty much down Andre you can, we're almost done you so can loosen up that grip on that wheel <laughs> uh, eight eight is getting up there dude yes yeah I, I don't think the truck actually did a lot of what's called grade shifting no, the transmission wasn't acting, you know, we never heard the engine rev up, well, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so trucks have a thing called grade shifting, which allows the transmission to go to a higher gear, which allows for engine braking, using the compression of the engine. Yes. Uh, and I didn't feel any of that on this truck. No, but the trailer brakes and the control helped us out yeah. in a big way. Now, okay, I'm going full throttle, Andre. I'm down. Pedal to the metal. Oh my goodness, that's 6,500 RPM. Wide open. All right, dude, I set cruise control at 60. That's cross, interesting. Cross your fingers. Dude, it's falling. The, uh, the uh, speed is falling to about 55. Okay. The truck doesn't want to downshift. It's still in cruise. All right. So it's, it's unable to maintain the set speed right now. Well, that's oh, there it goes. It just oh, downshifted. Yeah, the cruise control is still engaged. Okay, but I don't know if the cruise control will actually be able to hold this. Well, it's not upshifting, which is a little scary. No, so I just put my foot on it. And it did nothing move. happened. Okay, all right. My foot is on the accelerator, full full on. So it didn't downshift. Nope. So you're turning off cruise control. I'm gonna disable it. Cruise control disabled. It's uh, the truck is uh, not downshifting. Yeah. It doesn't like this mountain. No. Hold on, one full front, let me do this. Now we were at 74 there. So, uh, yeah, interesting, Andre. Much slower, but I think much better for the engine. Um, so what's the slowest time we've ever had, Andre? I mean, we're, we're past, we're about, we just went eight minutes. So, so the I slowest- I think like 11, right? The slowest times for dualies, yeah. those are the slowest to hauling 30,000. you're hauling 30,000, yeah. Yeah, those are the slowest trucks at about 11 minutes. Okay, that's what I thought. So, yeah. if we are under 11 minutes, I will be happy. Okay, great. All right. <sighs> All right. There goes baby. <laughs> there goes baby bear. Baby bear is a little bit bumpy. Yeah, baby bear had a rough day of it. Let's see how mama bear does. Okay.
Chevy sells hundreds of thousands of these half-ton full-size Silverado trucks. It's the most popular segment in the United States. And this trail bus is also an off-road truck and it has about 9,500 pounds of maximum towing capability and over 1,600 pounds of maximum payload capability. So for the size of this truck, which is a crew cab, it's doing really well both on towing and payload. Mama Bear, Mama coming bear. out at 50 miles an hour. Mama Bear it is, Andre. <laughs> and already you look much less stressed. Yes, I am. You seem calmer, you seem like a little bit more in control. Does it feel more in control? It does. Even though, once again, we're not using weight distribution yet on this truck also, I feel much more comfortable. Just the bigger truck, the heavier weight, feels better. Well, let's start with the fact that we've got two additional cylinders under the hood, right? <laughs> yes. So what's the horsepower and torque on uh, the 5.3? Well, this is a good old 5.3, right? But uh, 355 horsepower and... One brake application. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, and 383 pound-feet of torque and this engine is kind of a it's the most popular engine in their lineup yeah not many people under realize that and it's also the engine that most people pick on yeah that they say oh it's not powerful enough or it overheats too much come on 10 this is a 10 speed by the yeah. way and it's, there we go there we go and it's that's what we got it because we wanted the 10 speed paired to the 5.3 see how it does yeah that's two brake applications so we know immediately that the truck handles the load better, it didn't squat as much, Right. Um, it feels more comfortable, but uh, going down, it's not exactly uh, working like as, we would like. Yeah, it's not. It's, By the way, I'm running at 5.0 on the gain yeah. on the integrated brake controller, which this has, Yeah. Um, like any full-size truck should have. Yeah. And um, we're gonna run the same gain on the Ford, okay? Right. So. If you're wondering about suspension squat, mirror size, or chain hookups for the trailer, we did that in the first episode, which was all about fuel efficiency on the highway. We're gonna link it in the description below so you can check it out. I'm rooting for the truck. I'm like, come on, it's dude. Five so far, right? Yeah, five. You can do it. You can beat the gladiator. You're mama Perfect. bear. Come on. You gotta show the kid what's who's yeah. who. Show the kid what the bigger bear can do. <laughs> Don't be upstaged by the... And that's, I'm, you know, an old guy. I'm a Tommy. I'm kind of talking from the heart. There. Oh, it's slowed down there. Slow down. Ooh, yeah. it's been up again. It's slowed down. It's been up. Yeah, so most popular segment, Andre. Yep. And there's a reason for it, right? It's the kind of segment where, um, you know, I mean, Goldilocks, obviously, okay. there we go. That's six. Yeah. Goldilocks, at the end of the day, was just right. And in a lot of ways, the Goldilocks segment in the truck world is this one. So, dude, we're done. We're at the bottom of I Gauntlet. All right. That was six? Yeah, six. So, we've got eight, six. We're coming down, Andre. Okay. Okay, we're starting, as always, at 35 miles an hour when we cross this merge lane. Okay. And I'll tell you when. I'll reset the uh, trip meter and you start the time. I got my thumb on the button, Andre. And starting, three, two, one. Now! Alright, wide open throttle, go for it. There yeah. she goes. Well, the sound is good, but it could be uh, throaty, right? Are you suggesting we do another exhaust? Is that what you are hinting at, Andre? Maybe. Are we going to do cruise control as well? Yep. Alright, cruise control, 60 miles an hour. Let's see how it does compared to the other trucks. The Gladiator did not hold it. You know what? We're already up to speed. The Gladiator, we're still accel accelerating. So I can tell already that obviously more power helps. Yeah, two extra cylinders goes a long way when yes. you're at, uh, what, 9,000 feet, 10,000 feet above sea level. Yep. Of course, two turbos help a lot for all your Ford fans. This has a good ride, Andre. It's good. Yeah, it's good. And you know what? The mirrors are much better. Um, I can see, you know, the, these horizontal style mirrors. Yeah. Um, I can see my um, um, running lights on the trailer. Um, and it's looking well. We are going to the steep part of the mountain now, so here's where we're gonna find out if it actually does hold 60. And also, we're at about, what, 3,500 RPM? This engine is not really working really hard. No. It doesn't appear to be. And once again, we're down like 30% horsepower. Ooh, but look at this, 58. Yeah, it's going down. It downshifted? Oh, there you go. It's trying. 
it's trying, trying to maintain. trying, trying. It's like the little train that could. And it's doing it. It's doing it. Mama Bear is okay. It's anywhere from 65 to about 68. So it's better when the engine was screaming in the baby bear. Yeah. That's better than that. It's pretty, pretty much dead quiet. Man. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a quiet truck. Yeah. And I'll show you guys, first of all, one, 181 degrees on yep. the transmission. Yep. So we have the exact number there. We're stopping now. Oh, almost as perfect as you can get, Andre. Really? Yeah, look. 8.01. Yeah. 8.01. Basically 8.2. I mean, 8, 8 minutes, 2 seconds, or 1 Yeah, second. basically 8.2, so pretty much a perfect run. Uh, Stress-free and cruise-controlled hell. Yep. So we broke yep. the rules and it worked. 3.7 MPG. Yeah, we should consider this uh, cruise control thing uh, more often. Let us know in the comments below what you think about using cruise control going up. I know you want us to do it going down as well. Uh, we can try that maybe one other time, but that's for another video. Yes. Uh, and now it's time to go get Papa Bear. Papa Bear. This is a heavy duty truck, or if you're a Ford fan, a super duty. It's got the big old 7.3 Godzilla under the hood, and it tows by far the most. In fact, 14,700 pounds of towing capacity and 3,000 pounds of payload. This is a work truck. It's the one that should have the least amount of work associated with that trailer because it's got the most amount of capability. It's also an off-roader. This F-250 is powered by the 7.3 liter gas V8 with a 355 rear end, which makes its towing rating 14,700 pounds, more than twice the rating on that Jeep. Papa Bear, here we come! Yeah, <laughs> I gotta tell you, Andre, Papa Bear is the one I've been looking forward to the most because, let's face it, this is a, the biggest tool, yes. not you, the truck, <laughs> in the toolbox because this is the tow truck, right? Yes. So, how many brake applications do you think that we'll do on the way down? Oh, with 7,000 pounds, which is just a baby weight yeah. for this truck, I'm gonna say four-ish. I bet you will do even less than that. Really? I mean, yeah, I mean, we're less than half of this truck's capability and capacity. Yes. yes. We are also in a truck that is specifically designed to tow and haul. Yes. I mean, look at the mirrors. I love the fact that those mirrors just wait, pop up. Wait, wait, wait. First brake application. Oh, I could be wrong. We're already at one, huh? But it downshifted nicely, went to fifth gear. Yep. And once again, we're controlling it between 50 and 60. big hopes for this Super Duty. In a way, two, two. number okay. two. Okay, okay. two, okay, well, my, my hopes are being dashed, Andre. Wait for it. Okay. it. It went to fourth gear, dude, so I think it's learning. Yeah. This truck is learning and helping me. Although we're breaking some rules today, we're also staying safe. We have tire chains, just in case another snowstorm hits, and we're prepared for that. This truck is so tall, I mean, I feel like I'm the king of the road right now. Yep. And so stable, I don't even notice the trailer behind me. Yeah. Just, I, I don't even know if it's there. By the way, dude, we're, yeah. we're done. We're done. Two brake applications. That's pretty darn good. Just two? Yeah. When the truck went to the fourth gear, yeah. that was plenty for it to control everything. Yeah. I didn't touch the brake one, you know, twice I had to do it. Yeah. Two brake applications. Yeah, this is this is the bazooka for taking down the enemy. <laughs> it is. It's better to have a bazooka than a machine gun, I think. All right, Andre. Yo, up the mountain we go now. Um, the Gladiator really struggled. Yes, it did. The baby bear did not do well. And let's see Mama how. Mama bear. Th yeah, Mama bear. Okay. Let's see okay. how the Papa bear does. Start. Start. Okay, I got the timer going. Once again, then we're breaking the rules. So normally we would not use cruise control. Uh, the ideal time is eight minutes. Yes. That's perfect. And uh, you know, the fuel economy is what the fuel economy is, right? Yes, I'm gonna set it at 60, which yep. I just did, right here. Yep. 
and let the truck figure this out, right? So let's talk about this engine because this is really important. Yep. The 7.3, it's brand new, all new gas engine. It's a big block, they, so Ford says. Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla nickname. And um, it has 430 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. And of course, 10-speed automatic is here. And there is one mod that we did to this. It's the only mod on all three of these trucks, and that is we couldn't stand the exhaust as one has to. We upgraded it to uh, performance exhaust, so it is a little bit louder. So when you listen, uh, it's going to be a little bit louder in here than the stock truck. So keep that in mind as I show you the number. About 67, 68, which is still Dude, really it's under good. 70. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, and you know, we kept two of the resonators in place because we didn't want that kind of droney, you know. There's a there's a thing that happens when you do an exhaust, and that is it sounds really good when you start it up and accelerate, and then on a long trip, if you remove all the resonators, it gets really droney and really yeah. uncomfortable. So, dude, some a couple of things just happened. What happened there? So it went down to like 58. Yep. And then it downshifted and got me back up to 5960. So the truck is still trying to figure this out. Yeah. Do you like using cruise control and towing? Well, I like it on the flat highways. Yeah. Like it's just you know more relaxing. You don't have to maintain speed as much. But when you're climbing grades, I like to have more control of the truck, and that's why I want to control it manually. We have a little love, traffic, dude. Love to hear from We're you. We're gonna have to stop at the first uh, light, stop. okay? Okay, stop it, yep. That's just, that's just what it is. All right. And we got a little traffic. Nothing we can do about it. We're breaking all the rules, so... Figure if we were going, now. we'd cross about... What do you think? Now. About now? Yeah. So there you go. Okay. There we have it. 802, guys. So pretty much, that would have been run right on the money. How about the fuel economy? 3.8. 3.8. And PG. So, um, not unexpected. Dude, dude uh, it seemed easy in cruise control. Yeah. Yes, it was shifting a little yeah. bit, but it was really easy. Maintain speed for the most part. Uh, really solid run. All right, well, let's cut to our clothes, and I want to know from you would you want the mama, baby, or papa bear truck? Hold on, don't tell. You'll find out. All right, Andre, before we tell them which truck we would choose, Baby Bear, Mama Bear, or Papa Bear, yeah. let's review the numbers. So what are the numbers for all three trucks, please? So on the Jeep Gladiator, Baby Bear, eight brake applications, 10 minutes, 22 seconds on the way up, and 4.7 MPG. It had the best fuel economy, slowest time. Okay. The Chevy Mama Bear, six brake applications, 3.7 MPG, uh, and eight minutes and one second, basically, it run. Uh, and the Ford, two brake applications, 3.8 MPG, almost the same as Mama Bear, and almost the same time, eight minutes and two seconds. All right, Goldilocks, which one do you choose? And my vote is Papa Bear. Ford F-250 is just right for mountain, eye gauntlet, world's toughest towing test. Towing, uh, to me, in the mountains, you have to have control, and the Ford offered it, and the Chevrolet wasn't aggressive enough. All right, I'm gonna go with Mama Bear. I what? think that's yeah. I think the Silverado did really well. I thought it was the most comfortable. There's only one thing that I would change on it, and that is that tiny ass fuel tank, right? Oh. Yeah, 24 gallons is not enough when towing. But otherwise, I think it's the right size truck for the right size job. Once again, that's the Goldilocks truck for me. All right, guys. Well, there's one video left in this series, and that is of course off-roading. That is coming up. So be sure to stay tuned for that. As always, this is Roman and Andre saying thanks for watching and check out tfltruck.com for more news views and mama, baby, and big bear reviews. See you guys <laughs> next time. Ciao. And also Russian bear reviews sometimes. Yeah, Russian bear. Are you doing the splits? <laughs>